welcome to my channel. This is Lock Chip. What I'm working on today is this girder HSS 631 or 631Z. It is a disc detainer lock. It does work and it is gettable. Um, so Get it in the vise. Try to show you a little bit of the, how I get this picked. So to me, this picks similar to a Abloy Classic. So I'm gonna turn everything clockwise. I'm just gonna shift this way a little bit, just so you, maybe you can keep the pick in the frame. And I'm going to go, I'm using a rear tensioning tip. This is, I think, one I made for the, um, the Abloy, or excuse me, the Avis Plus um, with butterflies. Because this has a kind of a butterfly-shaped key, so it fit into this keyway well. So I'm going to go in, get my picking tip all the way to the back. Apply tension with the rear and try to tell you what I'm feeling. So I'm going to try to find the first disc. I always kind of test clockwise and I know I'm on that disc. So it's turning real hard. I feel some false gates, but they're. I just feel kind of gritty. So what I'm gonna do is go back to zero all the way back and just leave it there for now. On disc two, I can turn counterclockwise and make sure it doesn't turn. I'm on the disc good. Okay, now I'm on a gate, but it feels a little gritty. The second gate feels, feels good. We'll go to the next one and see. Okay, I got one kind of click. I'm in a gate. We'll just try to get everything in the gate to start with, and then we'll come back and, and get a little better, better feel. Oop, slipped off of that disc. Okay. All right, got a click. All right, so that gate right there. Oops, if I can stay on the disc. Feels good. We'll see. We'll come back to it because usually once you can get them all in a gate, then the sidebar will start telling you which ones are not right. But you got to get them all in a gate first. All right, so that's... Having problems staying on this disc. Okay, that one give me a click. And that one. All right, so that one does not want to come out. I think I'm, yeah, I'm, must be out of, yeah, let's see. Okay, nope, so that's the spinner. It doesn't want to come out of the gate either. So let me go back in. Let me just check this one. Oh, got a click. Proof. Wide gate. Pretty wide gate there. Let's see how each of these feel. I feel a little bit of a drag there. Go here. I feel my tension move more, so I think that's the better gate. It's almost like going into a false set. Okay, 
that one's not wiggling very much I don't think I'm in the right gate so let's move it back Ooh, I felt, felt the core move even more so that may be a zero cut so this one it's not moving very much so let's try resetting it okay that reset it give me a little bit of movement so let's try this one That gate doesn't feel good, so let's go back. So that gate's pretty wide open there, so we'll leave that one alone. Right. So when I go back to that gate right there, it, I can feel the tensioner move, so I'm going to leave that one there. I believe this is the back disc. It does not want to come out of that gate. That gate is not very wide. That gate is grinding. So I'm gonna go all the way back to the very first one. Okay, so that gate's good, feels good. Find this one. Okay, that one just feels kind of gritty. Let's see. Having trouble staying on the disc, so let's see. Oh, my tension wasn't all the way back. That was why my stops weren't lining up. Okay, so that feels good there. Okay, feels good there. feels gritty oh that was the one all right so we got this picked I can't get my pick out until we get it or until I lock it back so all right and I don't remember if I showed the bidding or not so let me get my pick out maybe zoom out a little bit so I don't lose my frame Let's see if it will allow me to zoom. There we go. Zoom out just a little bit. All right. So, so there is that. So I did lock it back up. Let me unlock it. All right. Let's see if this is. Nope. Not the right size. Oh, I think I had this one ready. Yep, and this one's the right size. So I'm gonna try something. Cause I have trouble getting these Allen screws out. I am gonna put a dab of grease just on the tip of my Allen wrench to see if I can get it to get that Allen screw to stick to it. So I can pull it out and instead of having to sit here banging around trying to get it to fall out and see already it, oh, it almost worked it's there we go push the grease back down maybe Oop. this one's got like a little sleeve to protect it because it so you have to push that sleeve up first and then um, prevent somebody from being able to take the screw out because the shackle doesn't go down that far so because this one does have two screws holding the cap on so all right so let's see if I can nope not getting lucky here There we go. Ooh. All right, so I gotta lock it back up. Sometimes when you push that, sh there we go. 
All right, so that is, we got pin and tray. All right, so I will fast forward through all this and show you the disc once I get them out. All right, so nothing's left in there except the ball bearings. I don't see any need to pull them out. So, all righty, get this out of the way. Kind of give you a little bit, a little bit closer up view. So the first disc, first disc is a spinner, but it does have gates on it, so it has to be um, turned in the correct position. It is a no cut on the key so it you, you can't tension off of it because it will spin but you know and then the next disc is not a zero cut so here's the key let's see so that is reference into this first cut and then so on so this one is this one these two are very shallow cuts that one is about a medium cut this one is a very pretty good cut. Then I believe this one is the no cut, and then that one is a no cut. So these two should match. Yes, they do. So the back two discs, so the and the front and the last are profile discs as well. So you have to match that profile. Um, let's see. Nothing special about. The carrier, you know, typical carrier, doesn't have the spring like an Amboy, but it's got like three little ball bearings on the back. I guess maybe to aid it. There is the sidebar. All right, so that is nine discs total. Um, they all have to be picked, so or at least they all have gates. They all these all have false gates. Um, that one has one, let's see, I'm going to say some of them felt like they had two, so that one had one, one, that one should be one, maybe they only all, all have just one, maybe it was, okay, so they all have at least one false gate. Oh, no, that one had two. Okay. So that one had two. And the back one that you tension off of doesn't have any false gates. And the front spinner, the profile ones don't have any false gates. So the front and the back don't. But all the rest do. At least one and up to two so far. All right. Thanks for watching.